Now, in a small piece of history, Michael Ball of the National Army Museum presents a favorite object from the collection. This is a paperweight or desk ornament of some kind. It's mounted in silver. We know it was made in India sometime around about 1790. Um, the two items on either side are a pistol ball and a musket ball um, recovered from a battlefield in 1780. But uh, what is really interesting about this is this rather strange object in the middle here. This is a coin recovered from the battlefield of a battle called Wonderwash, fought in southeast India in 1760. Nothing particularly special perhaps in recovering a coin from a battlefield, except this coin was minted in Ireland in 1689. So uh, this thing has taken 70 years and gone halfway around the world to end up on an Indian battlefield. The coin was minted in the reign of James II to pay his troops during the war in Ireland against William III. So this well, could well have been carried by somebody fighting at the Battle of the Boyne. Now we know that at the end of that war, many Irish troops, at least 15,000 of them, um, took service with the French armies. They, they left Ireland. These became the regiments that were famously known as the Wild Geese. The French continued to maintain um, Irish regiments in their service. And we know that there was an Irish regiment at the Battle of Wanderwash in 1760. This was a battle fought um, as part of the French and British struggle to extend their spheres of, of domination in India. Most of that regiment we know were killed or wounded at the battle. I would like to think that the, the chap who was carrying this, perhaps as a lucky charm or a souvenir, survived to fight, to fight again. But uh, I'm afraid that's one thing we'll never know.